Hi, I am going to try to make this video not 17 hours long like the other ones have been. I know it's been a while since I posted it, so I'm sorry. Um, I just don't have motivation to think of things to post about because my life is very boring. Anyways, um, I want to talk about Dylan Mulvaney uh, for a second, everybody's new favorite woman who has started this TikTok series called Day Whatever of Being a Woman. Anyways, day one was, this is Dylan's own words, on TikTok, I don't have a TikTok, so this is all from external sources, but it's Dylan saying, uh, day one of being a girl was crying three times. Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times. Buying dresses that Dylan couldn't afford. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford and writing a scathing email that Dylan didn't send. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. That is not what characterizes being a woman, um, having no emotional control, overspending, and being mean. That's not what makes someone a woman. And I know that the left always likes to say, you, all, you guys like to reduce people to their chromosomes. Like, yes, because your chromosomes are what make you who you are, aside from your DNA. But, so, Recently, Dylan reached day 365 of being a woman. I'm sorry for the bad lighting that just crossed my mind. I did not feel like getting the ring light out tonight because I didn't want it reflecting in my glasses because that's annoying. I know it's annoying to me, so I know it's annoying to watch. Anyways, uh, Dylan just reached day 365 of being a woman. And so Dylan did this whole celebration of day 365 of being a woman. And Dylan said something very emotional during that celebration and it was all very orchestrated because it just was you can tell but that's okay because it, it never hurts to have plans for an event it makes things run smoothly anyways um i'll put it i'm gonna put the clip in and then we're gonna talk about it after okay so can we pause there i'm gonna say something that might make people feel a little bit uncomfortable um i'm trying really hard to maintain a relationship with god and I don't think that he made a mistake with me. Um. So Dylan said two very important things. Hold on. Okay, I just wanted to scribble down my notes so I don't forget what I was trying to say halfway through the video. So the first point that Dylan said was that he, for the sake of biology, we're going with he because, you know, follow the science, right? Until it comes to biology. Uh, anyways, Dylan said that Dylan is trying to maintain a relationship with God, which very well might be true because I know from my own personal research that Dylan does come from a very religious family. And this article that I was just reading right before I started filming this, Dylan said that he came out to his mom at four and said, I'm a girl. And he said in his own words that his mom said, God doesn't make mistakes, which is Dylan's second point, which in a sense is true, but not the way that Dylan meant it. I'm sorry if I have like crazy eyes in this video. They are so dry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, anyways. Um, all I have to say about that first point of pursuing God is that someone who is pursuing God does not adopt sin and make it their personality because every true born again believer knows that sin is something you're supposed to flee from as a Christian, not embrace and make your entire caricature of who you are. You know, so it takes a little more than saying, you know, you're a Christian to be a Christian. Anybody can say they're a Christian and even atheists will mention God in conversation. So th those are not what makes someone a Christian. What does make someone a disciple of Christ is daily submitting your life to him, dying to the flesh, picking up your cross and, and pursuing Christ, which involves reading your Bible and praying and trusting in God. It's really a long discussion I don't want to get into in this video because that's not what this video is about. And it also takes putting your faith in Jesus' finished work on the cross as a means, as the only means of salvation. That is what makes someone a true disciple of Christ. So, to see Dylan not doing those things, but to say he's doing those things, very contradictory, which is not surprising. And then, the second point that Dylan made was that God doesn't make mistakes, which is true, but not in the way that Dylan meant it. So many non-believers misconstrue what it 
means to say that God doesn't make mistakes. They use it as justification for living however you want to, and that's not what it means, like, in the slightest. To say that God doesn't make mistakes is to attest to his constant state of perfection. Which means, by definition, he cannot make a mistake, even if he wanted to, because that would contradict who he is, and God cannot contradict himself. So, to say that God did not make a mistake making Dylan trans is wrong, because God very well knew what he was doing when he created Dylan. Well, I was going to say, everybody knows what the Bible says, but that's not true in this generation anymore. Not everybody knows what the Bible says. But the Bible does say that God knit us together in our mother's womb. He knew us intimately before we were even outside of the womb, before we were even at full nine months of gestation. That God knew us intimately, and he knew every option and every choice that we would take and make in life. And I think that's very cool. But that's again, that's not what this video is about. So, what it actually means, like I said, to say that God doesn't make mistakes is to say that God made Dylan as a man because that is who God meant Dylan to be, a man. God meant for Dylan to move through this world as a man, to pursue Christ as a man, to find Christ, and to really fall in love with him. I'm hearing things. I'm hearing my bird breathing. My bird is sick, has been since she hatched, and sometimes the wheezing sounds like steps on the creaky tile on the floor. Um, but, like I was saying, uh, I don't want to make this video very long because I don't I don't want to drag out and just ramble. Like I had very specific points I wanted to talk about. And there was just literally just two things that Dylan said in the video. So one, someone that's pursuing God does not adopt sin and make it to personality. And two, God not making mistakes does not mean that you are free to live in sin. Because God did not create sin and he did not ordain you to live in sin. So stop using that phrase. It used to be only God can judge me, now it's God doesn't make mistakes as a justification for sin. God didn't make sin, and he did not make you to live in it. So, um, chances are very slim that Dylan's actually going to see this video directly. But in the slim chance that Dylan does see this video, I just want to say, Dylan, it is okay to be yourself authentically and not have to be a woman. It is okay to be a feminine man. Um... That doesn't necessarily mean it's okay to be gay. That's not even for this video, so we're definitely not going to get into that because then this video will be 35 minutes long. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it is okay to be a feminine man. And it is okay to have questions and doubts and concerns while pursuing God. That doesn't mean you have to change who you are completely because you can't reconcile these feelings that you have. If you're feeling this discomb discombobulation between your mind and your body, so strongly that's something that you need to take up personally with God because the Bible says that God gave us a sound mind and that does not mean confusion obviously so if you're confused about how you're feeling and how you're living you take it up with God personally so I'm gonna pray not right now but in my prayer time I'm gonna pray that God would surround you with people who um, accurately depict the love of the gospel and people that would not affirm you but edify you in the truth of the word and i'm going to pray that you would have just this epiphany this realization that this is not who you are um and prayer is powerful when i was a kid i used to underestimate prayer so much and because i was a kid i would say you know prayer doesn't work because god answers in his own timing and i didn't understand that yet but <clears throat> I guess the point I'm trying to make without rambling like I said I didn't want to was that <clears throat> it's okay to be who you are as a man because that is how God created you to be <clears throat> and that's okay I don't really know how else to say it other than if you were meant to be a woman God would have made you a woman from conception that would have been who you were that would be who you are now so, I guess I'm going to go now. I don't really have anything else to say. 
if this video is met with scathing backlash. I really don't care. I'm so sick of this leftist BS. Everywhere we look, it's everywhere. There's no escaping it. And that's why we need people to stand firm in their faith and to promote it with love and, and truth. Loving someone means telling them the truth. Because it means that you care what happens to them in, in the long run. But anyways, uh, that's all I have for today. So, good night.